the state and I was uh, following a rule, but the rule was wrong. You recognize it soon. East side, west side, all around the town. People are sleeping in buildings. Brooklyn Bridge is falling down. Meanwhile, business is booming in Soho and Brooklyn Heights. Landlords are making a killing. Somehow, that world seems just right. Another day, another day, what's the big surprise? Developers pack right a wallet, a wallet, wallet. Flowers are free at the price. People with blue sky for shelter. People with no place to piss. One stone down Trump on his hat. Yeah, hey, hey. Oh, Calcutta was better than this. So east side, west side, all around the town. People freezing in subways, cheap housing just going around. Meanwhile, stock exchange blue zooming, chapter lanes doing all right, and make is making a killing. Somehow that word still seems right. Then look to the feds asleep in their beds, squatters lost it out, hoarding apartments for sweet deals, swept capitalism for all about. Me and my mother at working, I heard that race is squat. Flipping over bodies. Fantastic. On the sidewalk of New York. East side, west side, all around the town. People dying on buildings. Guess their systems falling down. Hey, was it really possible to have a civil war? Do you know how I kept this wedding gown white? I washed it with a toothbrush and prayed it would dry by showtime. Of course, you could count on it to turn muddy wet after I'd spent hours scrubbing it clean. Fun-filled nights on a beach with your favorite girl. Her face graced a dozen colors. I'm a military man And I kill a water can Try to eat a water kill I'm a waste and one that man But whatever I can eat Well I throw it to the dogs Your fiction eggs your walks They put faster in your frogs And there really is no need To keep them here you know They were brought by Merchant Green you can bet they're gonna go Malthus told it long ago It is fact, it's not assumption War will always win no calls But I know one got the gumption Nature's way to clean up scurves And the misfits from our system Napalm sends the hairy asses Smart bombs can't resist them. That was work divided by God into women's work and men's. Made soldiers, thank God he made also enemies and friends. Specializations that go right. Let each man hone his skill while you tune your Wilton song. Well, I'll mark my special kill While you pray in white sepulchers I list prophecy fulfilled While you brood in his old kirk My dirk will do his will
Are you going to armaments fair? Martin Vickers Croup and Lockheed Remember me to one who deals their hair Does he still sell the death we all here need? Does he still de sell the death we all need? Tell him I want a bomb that is quiet. Vickers Croup, Martin Lockheed, one that kills sure each time that you try it. And one that will kill at incredible speed. Da -da 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 -da. Tell him we'll pay for a weapon that's new. Krupp and Martin Vigors Lockheed, one that will kill both Arab and Jew. And you, and you, and Arab and Jew, that kills all our enemies regardless of creed. And ask what poor poison he hides in his sack. Martin Vegas, Krupp and Lockheed, one you send out can't ever be called back. Remember Agent Orange, eh? That kills all things living, destroys every seed. That kills all things living, destroys each last seed. Your tax dollars at work. Time flies like an arrow. Fruit flies like a banana. It looks like I'm here alone, but no, there's Kramer. We're going to have the Fugs. And sitting next to me is Kramer. And sitting next to him is Tuli Kuferberg, who you've seen on the show many times. He's a wonderful guy. And they're going to be playing this weekend at the bottom line. And it was so amazing last week that, not last week, the last time they played, that I got amazingly tipsy just from the very thought of it. And Ed Sanders was supposed to be here tonight, but he had to go home. And when you gotta go home, you gotta go home, I guess, and we're not too happy about this. But anyhow, I'd like to at least tell you what Ed told me about this show coming up. He said, Coca, don't get so drunk this time. <laughs> And I won't. <laughs> so, Tuli, hi. How are you doing? How are you? Good. Okay. Uh, I guess if we're not going to use that, we should take that out of the way. What do you think? This front piece. Let's vote on it. Oh, good idea. Let's vote on it. How do you vote? Get rid of it. Out. 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 Okay. Tuli. Well, uh, Feist, we love to do two songs for you, and then maybe... Then maybe we'll chat. And then maybe you'll interrogate us. I'd love to. And then if there's time, we'll do another song. OK. Here's the tunes. Um, these, are the, these are two new songs that have never been performed before, and uh, at least not like this. <laughs> and I, I, uh, I wanted to write a song about New York City. But I realized that William Blake had already written it in 1790. And he called it London. I wander through each chartered street Near where the chartered Thames does flow And mark in every face I meet Marks of weakness, marks of woe, woe. In every cry of every man, 
In every infant's cry of fear In every voice, in every pain The mind forged manacles I hear And uh, as is our wont here at Revolting News, well, first let me introduce the cast of characters. I'm Tuli, you all know me. And uh, the guy behind the camera is our, uh, is Norman Sabbat. He's our resident uh, cameraman, engineer. Folk music habitué in Greenwich Village and Havana. Do you want to appear before your camera so everybody Just knows? momentarily. I'm more of yes. a behind the scenes kind of guy. Yeah, well, that's what they all Something say about my first. works, I think. Hi, boys and girls. Uh, this is Oscar Young, the, bro the kid brother of the. Uh, let, let's. We'll, we'll get you. You can. All right. Hi. The kid brother of uh, of the the guy who's passing through. Yes. You know that folks so aren't passing through, right? Uh, I'm here just to make sure that he doesn't say anything embarrassing about the family. No, uh, we want to have a good show. I don't know. If we My mother was a saint. Okay, Israel Young is passing <laughs> through. And since I won't hear revolting news, we like to interview people who are passing through. We hear from Sweden. Uh, he came here to, to star in the Bob Dylan uh, Follies and um, Tacos, right. And uh, Israel Young was the proprietor of this institution, important institution, and among many other things. Wait, that was 5960, not 6263. And he's a folklorist, historian, a Morris dancer, a bon vivant, and a radical expatriate and an all-around good guy, right? Good old boy. Originally from the Bronx. What are the Bronx? You ever hear that? And now he's an inmate of uh, Stockholm. So, uh, he came back here to, to uh, do the, take part in the Dylan uh, movement, movie. Well, not only that, he paid for the trip, which is the story of my life. Like, I was a folky in Greenwich Village. I wasn't born in the Bronx. I was born in Lower Manhattan, 110 Ludlow Street. I was born there, too. And it's still there, and it took 30 years to move from 110 Ludlow Street to 110 McDougal Street. It took 30 years to make that move. So when did you uh, move to the Bronx? Well, very early on. And in fact, if my memory is right, we lived in more places in the Bronx than I remember. I think we lived in places three months at a time or six months at a time, and that was, we would get yeah. three months free rent, exactly. and then we would move it for three months. It was the Depression. So what year were you born? 1928. And uh, your parents were from the old country. My father was born in Poland, and he came to America in 1905. My mother was born in Poland, and she came to America in 1926 or 27, just before I was born. 
And uh, what what was their profession when they came here? How old were they when they? My mother was a housewife. My father was born in 1892, and my mother was born in 1905 in Lodz, in the big city. My father was born in Dierischow, a tiny little town close to the German border. So like when my father grew up, well, Polish was illegal. He learned Russian in school, Polish on the street, and Yiddish and uh, Hebrew at home. And then he had to learn German because he was uh, he was uh, smuggling goods from Poland to Germany. Yeah. Oh, that's a fucking lie. No, my father told me the story. I'll talk about the story. Make up story. It sounds just that's like my parents. It's not really. He used to take matches through the forest to Germany <laughs> and bring my back a pair of pants. Bring back so fires. Bring back a pair. <laughs> my father was afraid to be in the forest because he would be locked up for exposure or something. Never. I'll tell you what kind of a liar my father was. <laughs> All right, what kind was he? Well, my <laughs> father <laughs> told me when I was a kid that he saw Naftali Imba yeah. drunk, you know, he wrote the Hatikva. He on saw him, he he saw him drunk on the east side. He was a notorious Rue and a Bohemian, Naftali, and I believe every word your father said. But my father came to America in 1905, and I find out recently, I was looking up something, that Imba died in Philadelphia in 1895 and 1898. You know, you know so what? Uh, do you know what the editor? You know that of The New York Herald said in the 19th century. He said, "Many a good story. Remember, my son. Many a good story has been killed by over verification." <laughs> That's great. They asked Mahatma Gandhi, "What do you think of Western civilization?" And he said, "I think it would be a good idea." The English clergy are paid by the state as well they should be. Uh, the Vicar of Bray was the legendary, most famous survivor of that system. He served under Charles II, James II, William III, Queen Anne, George I, really a legend in his own time. And he, of course, he had to change, he changed his belief with every succession so to that of the new king, so uh, that's no more than right. So he was successively Catholic, Anglican, high church, low church establishment, disestablishment, then anti-disestablishment. He was a Tory, Whig, and a Jew. Now that's wrong. Huh? At, at any rate, this is a song dedicated to him and uh, all of his disciples. It's particularly appropriate, I think, in this election time. It's called Chameleon, or the time service song, the belly dance of the Vicar of Bray. In the winter, I'm a Buddhist. In the summer, I'm a nudist. In Jerusalem, Talmudist. In a quiet club, the crudest. Come here, young. Come here, young. Come here, young. Come here, young. When the Democrats are winning, liberalities and spin. Republicans are panting, racist slogans I am chanting. Come here, young. Come here, young. Come here, young. Come here, young. Unter Hitler, I'm a Nazi. Under helmet, call Shotzi. Under Stalin, I'm a Redsky. When Edgar Hoover, I'm a Fetsky. Come here, young. Come here, young. Come here, young. Come here, young. With our lovers, I love art. With truck drivers, love to fart. When with jocks, I slug my beer. Unless he told to lose on ear. Come here, young. Come here, young. Come here, young. Come here. Young. Come here with philosophers, I'm existential. With call girls, that's not essential. Nacadim, I lead the school. On the street, I play the fool. Come here, young. Come here, young. Come here, young. Come here, young. With the pros digging ditches, with the brokers plotting riches, and with God was quite religious here in hell somewhere I'm
vintage is chameleon. 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 Hi, right, folks. Uh, revolting here. This is our completely unrehearsed Thanksgiving show. And Thanksgiving to all. Lanny and I are going to uh, read from uh, something I had in uh, this week's Village Voice. And it's free, folks. You can, if you really love this, you can get a copy of it at your, uh, at the Red Box. And Lanny and I are going to read from this. It's called uh, 69 Things <coughs> to be Thankful for, 69. I'm going to start and we'll alternate. Be thankful you're not a turkey. Be thankful the Tsar was overthrown. Be thankful you're no longer in school. Be thankful you only have a hernia on the right side and not hey. a double hernia. Be thankful you no longer follow baseball. It's good I read that right. line because you, uh, baseball follows you, right? I, yeah, well, I, I follow almost any, any weather that's round. Uh, be thankful you're not on the Bowery yet. Be thankful you're not on a sinking ship in a freezing storm in the North Atlantic or off the Comoros Islands. No, you get vault. Be thankful that you're too light for heavy work and too heavy for light work. Be thankful that you were turned down by the reserves when trying to avoid the draft and then failed. Well, well I should have read that. The draft physical, because I'm a veteran. <laughs> and then failed the draft physical. Be thankful you joined the service in between wars. That's right, on the <laughs> advice of your... That's what I have, uh, uh, have my father, of yeah. Yeah, 1959, he says, get in and get out before the next war starts. Get in and get over. Mm -hmm, clover. And number 10, be thankful that the last time you took penicillin, it didn't kill you. Be thankful you're not a macho man. Let's read this one together. Okay. Be, be thankful, thankful that, that the Chinese, Chinese do not march six abreast in, in a single, single column circling the globe. Blah, blah, blah. Just Clinton and the president march together. That's right. They sort of agree to agree about uh, screwing uh, the general population. Yeah, you know, I read there was a letter to the... Uh, uh, the uh, Manufacturers. Editor in the uh, local paper after 94 election when all the Republicans got in. And uh, it said, uh, the major difference in the results of this election is that the Republicans will now have their hands in our pockets instead of the Democrats. Oh, I thought it was the Republicans. No, it was the Democrats. Yeah, well, there's one party. It's, it goes by two names, but it's really called the Bankers Party. <laughs> be thankful that no one understands you. Be thankful for Brook Farm. Yeah. Be thankful that you live in New York City and haven't been shot to death yet. If you haven't. <laughs> if you haven't. Right. Uh, or Maine for life. Be thankful that, although you opposed the Vietnam War, you didn't support the Communist parties of Southeast Asia. It's a thing. Uh, a lot of people make a mistake that you you have to support everything. The opposite of the everything. The opposite of everything that you ever get. There's more than two sides. Yeah, there's more. Yeah, and uh, one dictator doesn't isn't any better than the next. And in America, there's less than two sides. And don't forget, be thankful for the memories or tits, as they say. No, we don't say that. Oh, okay, breasts. Okay, our memories. Uh, be thankful you're a mammal if you're a mammal. Okay, be thankful you're not a fucking, fucking bigot. bigot. <laughs> be thankful it's not die day. And be thankful for Alka-Seltzer, Bromer-Seltzer, or just plain seltzer. 
Be thankful that you didn't vote for Dole. Be thankful you didn't vote for Clinton. Be thankful that you didn't vote. Be thankful you're not living in Bosnia. Be thankful that you're not a soldier in Bosnia. Be thankful you're not a soldier. Be thankful you don't eat meat. I better read that. You better read that. <laughs> well, you can read the second okay. one. Be thankful that meat don't eat you. And then be thankful that you don't have cancer yet. Be thankful you aren't addicted to heroin. Be even more thankful that you aren't addicted to nicotine. Be thankful you are not Newt Gingrich, George, George Pataki, Al D'Amato, or Rudy Giuliani. Giuliani. Be thankful that you don't work in the CIA. Be thankful that you, you don't... haven't been murdered secretly by a CIA agent yet. Be thankful that we still have public access cable in NYC. Be thankful that we still have WBAI in New York City. Be thankful that music can still wild the civil breast. Be thankful that Shakespeare's plays were written by Shakespeare and not with... <clears throat> Be thankful that Shakespeare's plays were written by Shakespeare and not someone with the same name who was not as good. Be thankful that there are only 30 more of these. And be thankful that you're young enough to know better. Be thankful that you don't work at the New York Post. Be thankful you don't work at the news. Be thankful you don't work at the Times. Alas, the best paper of our times. Of our times? Be thankful that you don't work at the New York Press. Be thankful that the Village Voice is free in Manhattan. Be thankful that you're not too old to fuck and will never be too old. Be thankful that you can shit without a laxative. Be thankful that you can shit with a laxative. Or be thankful that you can shit at all. Be, be thankful, thankful cats. that cats and dogs still allow us to live with them. Yeah, yeah. Be thankful that your pet python hasn't strangled you to death. Yeah. Yeah. Be thankful. If, if they haven't. <laughs> be thankful that all. In that well, case, you won't hear this. That ends well so far. Be yep. thankful that your children haven't left home yet. And be thankful that your children have left home. Right. Be thankful that you don't live near children.